Hi, this is Troy with Zoner Photo Studio 14 Pro. Today we're going to be looking at creating panoramic images using Photo Studio 14 Pro. Well, let's get started. We'll come over to our folder with our images and we'll just double click it. So once we're in there, you'll see that we have 11 images which we've taken uh, from left to right uh, in this case, but we'll show you how to rearrange that if need be. So let's get started. We have our 11 images. First thing we'll do is select the images. Um, I'm going to double click on one just so you'll get a good feel for the type of images we've taken. We've gone from left to right, overlapping the images by about 30%. Um, so let's go back to our manager and we need to select all of these images. The easiest way is Control A. Once I've selected all of the images, I'll come up to the top menu, select Create, Panorama. Now, Zoner Photo Studio will show us all 11 images which we've selected. In the future, you may have 50, 60, or 100 photos in this, uh, this folder. So this is very important. What I'm going to do is deselect several of these images, and then I'll click in this area. So if you had a lot of images in this particular folder, they'll all be grayed out with the exception of the images which you have selected. So I'll go ahead and reselect these. So now we see our selection. We just press Next. Now we have all of our images aligned uh, the way we would like to have Zoner Photo Studio 14 merge them. If, for instance, you have took your photos from right to left, you just come down here to the bottom of the screen and you could resort those images by selecting uh, one of these buttons, um, descending order by name. So that will take care of uh, if you have gone from right to left. But it is always a good, good rule because most software will align your images from left to right. So we will select next. Now we see all of our images. Zoner Photo Studio gives you options at this point to select your focal range on your lens. But the great thing is you will find that Zoner Photo Studio will select this automatically for you. We will select next and it is going to search for all of those points um, and stitch the photo together. So right now we are uh, we're almost there. You see these red lines. These are our overlapping areas. Um, I mentioned about 30% um, and that looks pretty good. Uh, so you see the really nice horizon um, and we have our images stitched together. Down here you have all types of options as far as making changes to your panorama to get that best fit. Uh, everything looks really good here so I'm going to select next. At this point our auto crop comes into place. Uh, we can select down here we can deselect that but I like to keep it on because Zoner Photo Studio will auto crop this for you where you get as much of the image without any of this fraying down here so that's a really really neat um, feature you can also select the output size as you can see it's a pretty large panorama but at this point we can select if we want 10 percent 50 percent um, as far as file size and we're going to keep it at 100 percent. We'll select next. Right now it is creating this panorama in that full size which is pretty large. Um, so as you see we're, we're doing a little work here um, but it's creating that full panorama. As with most of our features you will always be given the option of opening it in the editor and doing further editing or just saving it. So I'm going to open it in the editor so we'll get a good shot of what this panorama looks like. That is absolutely marvelous. Um, you see there's a nice seamless merging or stitching of, of the sky, of the bay. This is a great, great panoramic image. At this point we can make adjustments to uh, sharpen it, um, adjust color, contrast, saturation, you name it all within Zoner Photo Studio 14 Pro. At this point I'll just select File, Save As, 
We'll give it a name and we'll select save. Now I'm going to do cancel on this one. And that is it. So uh, that is how we create a panoramic image using Zoner Photo Studio 14 Pro.